Good morning, I am Brooklyn Borough President Eric Adams and this is so important. We want to thank all of our partners that are here, uh, particularly our co-chair Cecilia Clark from the Brooklyn Community Foundation and Pastor Gilford Monroe from my office. It is imperative that we use every aspect of communication that is necessary to really get the message out of Make Brooklyn Count. And today we're going to make several announcements and allow both our co-chairs to speak and broadcast this announcement and continue spreading the message of how important it is for everyday Brooklynites to really utilize the census to acknowledge their existence, to state that they're not going to live in the shadows of the American dreams and that they will be counted. Every family, every person will have an opportunity to state that this is their America, this is their city, this is their borough, and utilize this important tool that comes around, not every year, but every so often, to say that we want to count and be counted to utilize the resources that on the federal government is used. We're also going to call on the city and the state, as the entire conversation of census since this has, 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 has changed, we're now looking at all of this is going to be done online using computers. Many areas of our city and borough will not have those necessary computers in their facilities and don't have the bandwidth to make this happen. We want to change that. We want to have computers in our support centers, our senior centers, inside the houses of worship throughout the entire borough, our mosque, our synagogue. We want to ensure our churches and other houses of worship will have access to computers so people can feel comfortable to come in and make their census number count. We want to have a complete count in the borough of Brooklyn. We're not going to settle for anything less. And so when we say make Brooklyn count, 100%. That's the message we want to send out all over the borough, all over the city. And we want to be competitive in the process. We challenge the Bronx, Brooklyn, Queens, Staten Island, <laughs> Manhattan. We're going, to sh we're going to spread love the Brooklyn way, and we want to challenge the other boroughs to also do the same. When we all come together with a little competitive energy and a competitive spirit, we're sending a loud message to the federal government that those who want to really erode our participation, participation is not going to happen. We're going to be very much involved. And so I'm excited to introduce uh, one of our co-chairs that Really, we take our hat off to the Brooklyn Community Foundation for what they're doing, and a good friend, Cecilia Clark. All right. Thank you, Borough President Adams. I'm Cecilia Clark, President and CEO of Brooklyn Community Foundation, and I'm honored to be here today to represent the foundation in partnership with Borough Hall to stand along fierce advocates, many of them behind me, for equity and justice. Ensuring a fair and accurate census is a matter of justice. The census is an essential part of our democracy. It impacts the allocation of elected representatives, the distribution of government funding for vital services like schools and hospitals, and it plans for future investments in our communities by businesses and nonprofits alike. But Brooklyn residents are not getting their fair share Brooklyn is considered the hardest to count county in all of New York State and among the hardest in the country. And we are here today to make sure that 100% of Brooklyn residents, regardless of age, race, immigration status, is fairly and accurately counted in Census 2020 so that our communities receive the benefits they deserve and continue to grow stronger. This spring, the foundation announced a $100,000 commitment to Census 2020 for 2018. And on top of that, we reached out to Borough Hall to formalize the creation of the Complete Count Committee for Brooklyn to serve as the local organizing and coordinating body. I encourage people to please get involved in this complete county. We need all hands on deck to reach into our communities and get an accurate count. We want 
to make Brooklyn go from the hardest to count to the highest response rate. Yet, we know that this upcoming census presents unprecedented challenges. This will be the first census where the primary means of response is online. In Brooklyn, we estimate somewhere between 40 to 60% of residents do not have online access. This is also the first census in 60 years where the government is asking every person to define their citizen status. This is clearly a politically motivated decision. It takes a direct aim at Brooklyn with almost a 40% foreign born rate. As Brooklyn's Community Foundation, we are calling on every Brooklyn resident, nonprofit organization, and business to be part of the campaign to make Brooklyn count. 100%. 100%. And most importantly, right now, we need you to appeal to your elected officials for funding. Call your city council members to advocate for city funding to reach nonprofits and community-based organizations, and call your state representatives to ensure that New York State makes a sizable investment in census preparation. California has already committed $90 million. Surely we can match that commitment. There are nearly 3 million people in Brooklyn. Let's make sure that each and every one counts. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Pastor Rose. Thank you and good morning. Make Brooklyn count. 100%. Make Brooklyn count. 100%. 100%. Um, today we are very, um, you know, delighted to announce uh, to you and to the world our complete com committee is made up of organizations who are standing behind of us. Again, the message that we want Brooklyn to be able to get counted 100%. Uh, we want to move from last place to first place. And so today um, we're really challenging our committees, our leaders um, in different ethnic uh, backgrounds to really push forward so that Brooklyn can be counted 100%. So standing behind of us, we are their partners, and so I want to thank the Borough President for taking the lead, and I want to also, from our office, challenge the other Borough Presidents too as well, uh, to follow suit, to create a complete count committee so that the whole of New York City can, can, can benefit from, from the Census 2020. So again, we want Brooklyn to count, and we want to make Brooklyn count 100%. So I want to acknowledge some of our uh, partners. We have the Center for Law and Social Justice. We have New York Immigration Coalition, Rockefeller Institute, CUNY, and call out if I miss you. Who I else is here? Brooklyn Public Library. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Hold on. We, we have to have Linda here from the uh, Brooklyn Library. Please, Linda, come and say a few words. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. As you heard, this is the first year that the majority of uh, census applications will be taken online. It will be a digital process, and nearly 40% of the households in this borough do not have access to the web. And so, that seems daunting, but frankly, the library is here for every single person, regardless of their background, their age, where they came from, to come to the library and to get help specifically for this purpose, among all the other things that the library does for the community. So if you don't have a computer at home, if you don't have access, there is a way to respond and every single member of this community should come to the library and get the assistance that they need. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And it's so important as we talked about having those influencers, uh, for many years the library has really utilized their branches to create an inviting atmosphere. Now is the opportunity to use that inviting atmosphere as a manner to bring people inside the doors. This is a major shift by ensuring that the bulk of those who are going to be utilizing the census data or input will be using computers. We must 
bring people to friendly environments where computers are located, and this is our opportunity to do so. So again, we want to thank all those organizations. We were, we were on a roll call, so I know Mega Evans College. Let me hear the rest. Who else? The Black Institute. The Black Institute. New York Counts 2020. Uh, Arab American Family Support Center. Arab American Family Support Center. Flatbush SDA, Copal, Co Copal Council of People's Organization, Nick Black, <laughs> Nick, Nick Black, <laughs> NAACP, Adelaide Sanford Institute, YMCA, ADL, JCRC. Thank you all. We love it. Love it. What? Carlos Menchaca's office. The Crown Heights Jewish Com Community, Dinah Rich Assembly Assembly Woman Dinah Richardson, Councilman Carnegie, Triple Triple A N Y, yeah, Triple A N Y. So you see, we're and we're going to continue to grow and expand and continue to bring people under one umbrella, and that is to make Brooklyn count. One hundred percent. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.